We are no one. We are everyone. And we are invisible. We've gotta start acting like professionals. Although the 2020 Emmys may look a little different this year, the best of TV will still be honored in their pajamas. A source tells Us Weekly that this year's virtual award show will be a pajama party, with celebs opting for designer jammies instead of red carpet couture. A source tells Us Weekly that host Jimmy Kimmel and producers told everyone to just have fun. If that means pajamas, great. If it means a gown, that's also great. Nominations were announced on July 28th, and like always, there were some surprises and some snubs. Looks like everyone should be binging HBO's The Watchmen during COVID lockdown because it earned 26 nominations. I guess we have ourselves a reckoning. And on the comedy side, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel earned 20 noms. I am not a prostitute. I'm a comic. Is there a difference? Yes. Prostitutes get paid more. Hilarious. You should go into comedy. And leading the dramas were Netflix's Ozark and HBO Succession with 18 nominations each. He did not fire me. He said it was just going to take a little longer. What I think he meant to say was that he wished that mom gave birth to a can opener because at least then it would be useful. Now, while her co-stars Jennifer Aniston and Kerry Washington both picked up nominations for The Morning Show and Little Fires Everywhere, Reese Witherspoon didn't get any acting nominations. In fact, her other series, Big Little Lies, was completely shut out. I can just see the damage that's done and it's eroding every single one of us. Now, Brad Pitt was only on screen for three minutes, but that was enough to earn him a nomination for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Comedy Series for playing Dr. Fauci on SNL. Good evening. I'm Dr. Anthony Fauci. First, I'd like to thank all the older women in America who have sent me supportive, inspiring, and sometimes graphic emails. And while it may not be a huge surprise since she's all sorts of amazing, but Zendaya picked up her first nomination for Euphoria. Suddenly, the whole world goes dark and nothing else matters but the person standing in front of you. The Emmys were not giving any Breaking Bad love this year. Aaron Paul was shut out of the Breaking Bad movie, while Emmy regular Bob Odenkirk didn't get a nomination for Better Call Saul. You ready? But perhaps the biggest snub was that Elizabeth Moss did not receive an acting nomination for The Handmaid's Tale, despite winning the award for the role back in 2017. This war isn't going to win itself. Although most award shows, including the Oscars and the Golden Globes, have pushed back their air dates due to the coronavirus pandemic, the 72nd Annual Emmy Awards are still set for September 20th, with Jimmy Kimmel hosting. Mm -hmm.